Hi Spring ISD, my, na my name is Hugo Garcia and I'm here with you on Career Day. My career is an artist. You may be wondering, well, what kind of artist? I mean, there's different types. There are musicians, there are dancers, there are singers, uh, but for me, I am a street artist. Now, if you don't know what a street artist is, let me paint you a picture. So I do stuff like this. Now you may be wondering, well, I see all that stuff on the trains and you know on different buildings around my neighborhood, but you know, can people really make money working on, at, in such a career? Now, yes, you can, but you have to be really good at it. Now, getting really good at something takes some time. And for me, I started making art since I was your age in elementary school. Now, it wasn't like how it is now. It was, you know, it, w it was different. <laughs> but over the years, the more you do something, the better you get at it. So I do encourage you to, to sign up for your art class and really work and really work on making, you know, beautiful art. You may be using things such as markers or also crayon or uh, Crayola matte pencils or even crayons. Um, and some of you may even be using paint brushes just like these. However, you do want to get started and just paint and draw as much as you can. And don't think about too much, you know, what you're painting or, or you know, it, it needs to be a masterpiece. You, you really just have to practice. Now, for me, I would encourage you to, to you know, draw things from your home. Like, can anybody recognize what this is? I mean, there's some blankets down here, but really, that's, that's a toaster. I mean, I just went ahead and put it on some blankets to get some some different kinds of textures and, and shades of everything. But you know, you can draw anything at home. Uh, the next one is right here, yeah. I mean, that's just an office chair with kind of like a blanket on top. Um, and then you can get a little bit crazier and you know, draw something a little bit more abstract. I mean, it's kind of hard to see what it is, but I mean, it just looks pretty cool, right? And then don't worry about you know, if you don't finish it or if it doesn't look right. I mean, art is really meant to, you know, progress and it takes time to do it. And sometimes, you know, you have to take a break. But in the end, you really end up with a lot of cool stuff. Like for me, I mean, I, I, I painted this a little while ago. Um, it does take a lot of time. And, and really, it's, it's, it's about being focused and developing your skills as you go. Now, as a street artist, you may be wondering, well, what, what, kind of, what kind of materials do I use? A lot of people use paint, or they have clay, or like I showed you, you have crayons and even uh, markers. But for me, what I use is spray paint. Now, you guys may have seen your parents, you know, using some spray paint to, to paint the side of, you know, a chair or something outside, and it's really stinky. Um, but really, this is a great tool to cover large amounts of area. Uh, so for me, that makes it perfect to paint murals on, on the outside and in, in buildings. And really, it's, it's, it's a really good medium to use, and a lot of streets artists use these, uh, this paint. But you might be wondering, well, that, that, that stuff is kind of hard to control. And, you know, there's, there's different caps that go on top of each one. Um, different caps do give you different kinds of lines. So you're always switching caps and you're, they're always getting clogged. And you're going to use a whole bunch of these if you do end up working with this medium. But it's a lot of fun. Now, as far as education needed for a career such as this, uh, you can go to school and, and obtain a, a degree in art, which by obtaining one of those, you can become like an art teacher. Um, there's also graphic designers, industrial designers, uh, interior designers. It really just depends on what direction you want to go. Now, to be a street artist, I recommend, you know, getting involved in art from an early age, such as elementary school as well as, you know, taking college level courses to develop your skills even further. It's not just about what you can do at this moment, but what you're also exposed to.
but as far as salary ranges go for these types of careers, they can start up from anywhere from about 30,000 to, you know, maybe even 60. Uh, it really just depends on which direction you go. But I do have a question for you. Now, if you guys look at this picture, which ways do you guys think is the best way to hang this? Would it be something like this? Would it be like this, you know? This is, this is a square, so there's different ways of hanging it. I mean, it just really depends on which one catches your eye, right? So, which way do you guys think? <laughs> and honestly, all you guys are right. It, this picture wasn't meant to be hung a specific way. You can hang it in whichever direction or which way you like. Uh, as the artist, I wanted to make sure that, that people that saw this that saw this picture were able to see what they wanted and not what I wanted them to see. All right, guys, fun fact about street art. You do want to do street art with permission. Now, a lot of people do this without permission and they get in trouble with, with law enforcement and it's it's not very fun at that moment. So really when you, when you are doing any sort of street art, you do want to make sure you obtain permission that whoever owns the building or the property is aware of what you're doing. But thank you for having me, Spring ISD. Um, I've enjoyed making this video and hopefully um, I, I see some art from you guys pretty soon. Thank you guys.